Marcus Conti reporting. Let's talk about Venezuela. Let's talk about war. Let's talk about refugees. Right? There's a big refugee problem in the world, right? Everybody's starving. There's starving children in Africa. You see the you see the images of the, you know, the rib cage and the big the big uh, diseased belly and the kids walking around with the bald head walking around like that shit, right? Fucking starving refugees, right? Jumping over, jumping over the fence in in Venezuela and and and. And jumping over our fence in, in the Rio Grande, right? All this refugee shit. What, what causes it? Who's the number one cause of the refugee problem? What's the, what's the root cause of the, the refugee problem? Let's take a look. So a new, um, on June 19th, Statistica headlined, number of forcibly displaced people reaches new high. Forcibly displaced. And when one looks... When one looks at the data, one finds an even bigger story, story with standards beyond those numbers. The new uh, UN report documents that uh, it proves that the America's regime change operations have actually created around half of the world's refugees. What? Half of the world's refugees? I thought we're doing the right thing. I thought we're, we're building bridges. We're, we're, we're causing... Uh, uh, we're spreading democracy and freedom, freedom for the people. We're making, we're making people's lives better. But it turns out we're causing half of the regimes, <clears throat> half of the refugees in the fucking world. That shit is crazy, man. This is like, uh, so it proves that America's penage for invading and trying to overthrow the governments that its billionaires want to replace, quote, regime change, has been by far the biggest of all single causes of refugees worldwide, vastly higher than any other government. Regardless of how bad uh, uh, those who, who governments might possibly be, the U.S. regime is far worse, at least as at being the cause, the creator of the world's refugee problem. Damn, do you think that, let me ask you this, do you think that this is a secret around the world? The UN is obviously broadcasting it, but do you think that other nations around the, around the world don't, don't understand this and don't know this, that don't discuss this in, in, uh, you know, in, in uh, open, um, open formats inside of the UN? Of course they do. Right? Here's, here's Elliot Abrams, right, in Venezuela, case in point. Right? Venezuela hasn't fallen yet to the regime change. It hasn't gotten as extreme as Syria, um, you know, uh, Libya, you know, right? But here's, here's, the, um, here's the deal. So this is Juan Grado. Remember Juan Grado? Remember Juan Grado. Juan Grado. He's got his hot wife, right? Juan Grado is the, is the sock puppet of uh, Elliot Abrams, John Bolton, uh, Mike Pompeo, Trump, Pence. Right? He's, they're the CIA uh, insert to get rid of Nicolas Maduro in Venezuela, right? So they could steal the oil. So here, here it is. Once again, the Central Intelligence Agency has been caught financing a group of grifters and fraudsters at the expense of the American taxpayers. In the latest case, uh, just another in the agency's 72-year history, the Trump administration appointed an ad hoc board of, of CITCO and the U.S. subsidiary of the state-owned Venezuela oil company, Pervesa, stands accused of steering $70 million of escrow funds earmarked for PDVSA financial year uh, 2020 bonds to the pockets. They steered it to the pockets of CIA-supported officials of the Venezuelan opposition, quote, Popular Will Party, headed by the so-called interim president of Venezuela, Juan Guardo. Uh, evidence, evidence that Evidence that the regime change wars, regime, our whole economic strategy, a whole uh, military strategy is, is ass backwards, right? It creates the, the refugee problem around the world. It destabilizes economies. And so to, to preach, you know, for, for our um, uh, current swamp to preach that they are doing something uh, to stop all this, uh, the, the, the flood of immigrants across borders, and, um, you know, and, and the, the, the refugee problem in the world is ridiculous because we're causing it. We're not, we're not helping, 
we're not helping any of it. So it's a short video on this. It's uh, you know, it, it is a staggering, it's a staggering idea. We want to live in a, you know, in a free society. We want to live, we want to be viewed by our partners and, and our, our neighbors as people of integrity, of people of moral fabric. I, but instead, we're just warmongers. We blow people up. And right? what happens? I'll tell you, man. What happens when the economy one day sinks, right? And and shit hits the fan, right? And and the U.S. can't bully everybody around the globe. Watch, watch. It's a chicken's. It's karma, right? I mean, I'm I'm already in my fifties, man. I'll be dead by the time that shit happens, right? But some people, the kids that are inheriting this thing, I'll just you know, hey, listen. I live by a very tall bridge. You know, I'm 85 years old. I'll crawl up to the top of the bridge and take a dive, right? But, but you know, why get eaten by fucking crazy people coming in and taking our country, getting even with all the bombs we've dropped on them, right? Karma, man. Karma. You know what I'm saying? So, Marcus Conte reporting, kindly become a patron of this channel. We're moving in, in leaps and bounds despite the, the wave of new hate. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on, motherfucker. Bring it on, right? <laughs> guys need exercise, man. You need exercise? Go ahead, man. Fucking comment, man. But why don't you drop a dollar in the bucket, man? You cheapskate, right? While you're in the process of, you know, fucking coming on here talking your nonsense, right? Drop drop a dollar in the in the in the in the in the kitty and maybe, maybe I'll have a little respect for you, right? So uh Marcus Conte reporting. Don't forget to subscribe. You two are still on the warpath. They, uh, as the numbers go up, every once in a while you look at it and they knock 200 off. <laughs> so it's crazy shit, man. Marcus Conte reporting.